first of all, what's your name, my man? My name is Andre. Andre? Brennan, pleasure to meet you, my man. Nice to meet you, man. So we just found Andre, and we decided we're going to sit down. We're going to enjoy some McDonald's together. Yeah, yeah. I see you got your nice grills in, you know what oh, I mean? Man, yeah, you know, Louisiana, you know. Yeah. Like the South, South, South. You're from Louisiana? I'm just it. yeah. Hell the yeah. The dirty south. The, the, south, the, the dirty south. south. Yeah. All right, let's grab some grub. I got, here's your pies, by the way. I got you two of them. Uh, fish filet sandwich. They didn't have like a fish platter. Yeah, it's all good. Got you. So I got you that and I got you a quarter pounder right here. Yeah. Come yeah. on, everything back in the bag. Oh, we do, we good like that. You want to pray? Good. Yeah, we'll pray. All right. Your father God, praise you for more, so I need to thank God. Jesus Christ, you see us high and low. Actually, thank you for the three things right here. A, B, C, which is attitude, behavior, and conversation. I thank God for you guys coming out here and being a support by feeding their givers. The men of God, there's just angels, they're, 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 these guys are mercenaries. These guys doing things out here for the homeless that you don't skip, bro. And I like to just thank God for them allowing me to shoot up and show up. And I thank God for traveling the guys that when they leave here, that they go with joy and they leave happy. They don't hurt the army that they come again. All of us but love Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Now let's grub up, my man. All right. When was the last time you had a good, like, nice, warm meal? Yeah, it's been like a week. A week. So what? Like, what do you survive off of? Like, how do you? Well, I survive basically about praying for people, entertaining by dancing. I heard about that. You said you have a video with three hundred thousand views. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm I'm way off the chain, man. But it's, you know, it's not just me. It's the spirit of God that's allowing me to live out here. And be around these predators because we're living amongst the living and the dead. Yeah. I've come across people that are that are dead, that are walking. I'm a golden eye, golden eye. You gotta be careful how you treat people. You never know. Like we could be trading places. You remember the movie with Eddie Murphy? Right? Yeah. When they trade places. I could be in your position. You could be in mine. Let me ask you. So if that if that's the case, if we were switch position, what would you be doing differently in your life? Like if we switch positions right now, you're me, I'm you. I'd be a taxpayer citizen first and foremost. Tax bank. I have a house. I would have kids. I would he'd probably be in college by now because I'm 53. And at the same time, I'll be coming down here on Skid Row doing the same shit that these guys do. Give an example by giving. I'll be coming, passing food out. I'll come to people bring they would like something to eat. I would give them a shirt off my back. Like this man's gonna help me with a shoe. Told my man, I'm gonna give him some shoes after. He doesn't got no shoes. Give some shoes out here. Look, you see what's going on. I just also want to say, and if it happened with these guys, the guy woke me up and came through and they said, hey man, hey bro, you know me? Yo, they asked, they, they wasn't tripping on the color. You know what I'm saying? These guys are 19, 43 to be no color on. These guys are just not regular men. These guys are Superman. Thank you, man. Oh, you're, you're hyping me up too much. I'm getting too excited. I know. <laughs> Thank you, guys you my man. got the right guy, man. Thank you, man. I, hey, I'm glad we ran into you. You're an awesome guy. Let's let's enjoy some food, man. I want you to eat it while it's hot. So, yeah. what do you guys? I'm gonna ask you, what are you guys gonna do? I want to help people out. I want to set are, set an example to all of my followers you know, that like. You're gonna let people know this is how you can end up if you don't do it. Actually do Speaking of that, tell me tell me your story. How'd you end up like this? I story I ended up like this because what happened was I was in a relationship slip. Not mm -hmm. a relationship. I was in a relationship slip with a woman. First of all, I was out of wear a lot. Was I'm she hot? Short. She was so hot, man. She, <laughs> hot. she had a, she had my mind, my body, and my soul. Oh, so um, she had everything. She had everything. She got smashed. Yeah, I had money in the bank. Damn. Like Fifteen thousand strong. You know what I'm saying? Doing things illegally, but I was getting money. I was yeah. stacking. So what happened was, the day I got out of jail, you know. What'd you do? What'd you do? I gotta know everything. I got caught up. You know what I'm saying? It was in a raid. In a raid. You start leaving me and my son unattended. You know what I'm saying? And we'd be out. I would go out and look for him, leave my son there. Buy some stuff. How old was your son? He's Eleven. Now. So at the time, how old was he? What? So she would leave him by himself at one years old. Oh my God. So I was over looking for her. And then, one thing that she started getting high. I said, you, know, you get high, you get high now. Right here. So when I saw her do that, I wanted her so much, I started doing what she started doing. I started getting high. No. Uh, that game was over then. Yeah. Right, Dodgers lose, game over. Go Dodgers. Yeah. Long straight shut, man. Money that in the bank started going down. You're using it for drugs, right? Drugs. I was like, it's no better than she was. I was caught up with a dilemma. Running behind somebody that didn't want nothing. Chasing somebody I something, thought I did. And the third, 
you didn't want nothing in life anyway. If you could go back and do things differently, how would you do your life differently? Like, would you just like? I not- would do it. I would, what, I, what, I, what I had did was I did continue doing what I need to do for me because if I don't have a place for me to stay, a roof on my head, a car, and take care of my business, because if she did come in my life, I could tell her you can leave. I would have got a woman that wasn't using drugs. I'm off drugs now for like five years. But for the simple fact that when I came back up on top where I was, it's a process. Because when you're here on Skid Row, they got they got resources and everything. But my main thing is to get back in contact with a power who's greater than me, which is God. Right. If you don't get yourself together, how you gonna be ready for her? And that's something that I preach a lot. So though every while he said that I wanna say something. I wanna say that, you know, in your life, all you really have is you. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? You're gonna be buried by yourself. So focus on you. Do the things that you want to do right now in life because, you know, if you let someone else distract you or something distract Whoa. you, you're going to miss out on your own life. You know what I mean? I, mean, I agree, totally agree with that, man. Hey, you rock, bro. You guys are awesome. And I also like to add that. What he said was so powerful. Because guess what? If I don't recognize my ABC, which is my attitude, at the end of the day, my behavior, and how I feel, which is my conversation, it's about me, bro. It's about nobody else. But if you with me, look. Fuck with me, you stuck with me. Mm-hmm. If you ain't with me, you're against me. And if you ain't trying to go with me, guess what? I really do that. I really do it by myself. By yourself. I don't need her. You don't need anyone. No, you don't need anyone. So, my, yeah, going yeah. back to it, you said you, you were using drugs. What was your drug of choice? Anything on the phone. Anything. So you were just doing any, absolutely anything. anything. So, I lost my mind, bro. Behind her. I invested so much in her that I gave up on life. Uh, I see, I can come home and just become like a caveman out here. And that's what that because I had a cave, a person who they talk about don't become like, because but I was like that. I was finding me behind somebody's outfit, finding me behind somebody that didn't want that girl. All I thought about was the pussy, the lust. It wasn't love, it was lust. lust. But it was listen, guess what? If she wasn't helpful, she was hurting. If you're not an asset, then you're not a liability. Yeah. I need for you to work with me, not against me. So we in a relationship. Some people are in a relationship. You get it? Yeah. Relationship. Relationship. Or we call it relationship. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> See, because I'm telling you, if you spell hope, can you spell fun backwards? Enough. I had enough of that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh! There we go, my man. <laughs> hey, look, you know what hope stands for? What you guys have? What does it have? Hearing other people's experiences. Wow. And also, look, you got three types of people out here on the street world, in the world. You got the first person, which is this guy, who make things happen. You got the second person, which is this guy, who wait for things to happen, like this. <laughs> you got the third person, who I always speak, didn't know what time, but didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Wow. See, didn't know what was That's happening. That's crazy. At what point in your life did you realize, like, F- I'm like, I'm f- basically. When I saw how I was looking, when I saw myself in the line, a thousand dollar line of mission people that's homeless. When I saw myself, people were in the bathroom, they were drug use, people were doing dope, put shit on the ground. People didn't care about nobody. And people would tell me, hey, crack here, give me a talk of disrespect me. Manhood out the way. When some guy said, hey, you want to turn a date? I give you a hundred dollars, you let me suck your dick. When I saw myself with the proposition, when I saw myself at the breaking point of my life, I was like, I want to kill myself. I got to the point, I said, you know what, but there's a whole brother, there's a whole, these guys, like these guys who suit up and shit, I'm going come through and say, look, hey man, you can do it, uh, we're praying for you, here's some food, here's some clothes, that's where love is at, brother, love is, love is what, love is, you know what love is, love means, love is showing, giving, caring, love is just saying, I love you guys, but fuck you, I love you, See, love is giving, yeah. these guys are love, See, that's love, I wanted that woman, God wanted me to get to I took my eyes off the prize and I ran behind her because she had a fat ass. Damn. She didn't speak. She sucked good dick. Yeah. She was my no, 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 you're good. Keep me 100. Though. Yeah. This is no game out here, bro. You have to go hard or you go home. See, so what I, I stopped going to the program. Guess what? I am the program. I have a life tip. I decided to change how my life was going to turn out. At the end of the day, I got to find out was I good? Was I any good to anybody? Or did I do good to somebody? Be careful how you treat me. Because what goes on comes from. Karma. And I say that to say that, hey man, never give up. Never. Always continue to 
scribe. You know what RISE stands for? RISE. R-I-S-E. Responsible individual scribing every day. Wow. Oh, real deep. That is powerful. Responsible individual scribing every day. And also, there's a man that goes to the hospital. The doctor says, so, you have to perform surgery on your eyesight or your hearing. Uh -huh. Who do you think you want to keep? I'm asking you guys a question. Eyesight or hearing? Yeah, which one do you think you want to keep? I'd keep my eyesight. I keep my hearing. I'm seeing where I've been. Faith in my hearing, which is the word of God. If you guys roll by, I stop, I listen to what you had to say. Yeah. Yeah, I really hear where I'm going. I've seen where I've been. That's true. That's true. Wow, you're deep, man. I know. You know a lot of these. I'm over Serious? here like, damn, I'm learning a lot today. Serious? But it's all because of what I've been through. Choices we make. I'm not a bad person. Just make some bad choices. Well, listen. Yes. <laughs> some of the people watching this video, they're going through dark times. You know what I mean? A lot of times, I'm the one that helps bring them up. You know, with my videos and stuff. Yeah. So, Seriously. how would how would you what would you tell them if they're going through a dark place? They want to end it all. Maybe what would you tell them? Because you went through it. What I do is I would go pick them up in my car and bring them down here and show them and show them this is where you can be at. Take them to the hospitals and show them what drugs does. I would take them to places in the worst places in the world, which is right here, Skid Row. I would bring them out here at night. I would bring them down here three times a day. You know why? Why? You got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I would show them this is what they do every day for them. Some people recycle. Some people uh, wash cars. Some people have to work all day for somebody to pay them. Some people pay them two or three hours out of the day. But, the, but see, that's not enough money. See, you just survive it. You better have a hustle out here. You better have some skills. You better have some street smartness. And you better have some respect. We don't give a fuck what color you are, where you come from. We don't give a damn. The devil come to rob, steal, and kill. So I, like I said, I will pick them up. You ask me, what would I do? How would I tell you? Bring them down here. We'll show you what you were with. Take them to the county jail. You're scared of taxes, that's cool. But this is living. This is life. Hey, look, this is not a game, bro. This is reality out here. It is. I don't disrespect the people who don't want anything. I do ask them what happened, what's going on, like, how you guys do with me? Because guess what? I don't want to end up in a shit bag the rest of my life. You lose a limb down here, you lose an eye. I know people who go on out to another place, who die. My sister got killed out here. She got two of us. 15 dirt building. You understand? So I know what it is when you disrespect somebody, bro. You gotta be careful how you treat people. You might be kind of a stranger. You might be entertaining an angel. There's angels down here. I see one yesterday. You drove up and gave me $75. You said, God said, keep praising. And that's what I do. Because if I leave him out, I'm doomed. I'm telling you, tell you, if I leave him out, it wasn't long class that was with him. It wasn't that fucking smartphone. Well, it was a guy in the universe who woke me up and said, hey, man, life is a succession. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just want you to know this guy who is doing a good thing, which is just real. These guys are out here on the front line, man. Like we were in Vietnam, representing, saving lives, giving a person a chance to restart all over. But guess what? I don't want to end up where I was before. So at the same time, I keep walking. I keep talking, I keep my head up, bro. Just look, because having a good time with the food. Good. We smack down, you know what I'm Yeah. Yo, we represent. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, no, no free promo. No free oh, promo. Okay, they oh, got to pay us for that. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys like it, huh? What are yeah. Doing? Serious? I, serious? Hey, you guys ran into the right guy? That's why I say, look, if you fuck with me, you stuff with me. Yeah, and we fuck with you, man. Yeah, hey, you fuck with me, guys. Listen, hey, I, I want to I wanna teach you some wisdom that I know because you've been teaching me a lot of stuff, all right? So there's this thing, like, and I feel like I feel like you know it without knowing it because you attract good things into your life. Like, for example, us coming to you and finding you out of every person that is out here. I know. And you want to know what that is? What? It's called the law of attraction. Have you ever heard of that? What? It's where you put out what you want in your life. So what? if you want positive things in your life, you think positive thoughts. What? And I feel like you do that without knowing it. Like you said, a guy came by and gave you $75. As you're praying to God, you're praying for it, you're, you're wanting it, you're, right, you're positive about right, it. Yeah. Oh, man. So just keep that up, man. And I you, have to, because you know what the guy, when he gave me money, he said, God said, keep praising it. How long have you been out here? I've been out here for at least 10, almost 10 years. 10 years. 
Yeah. And like, do you ever like try to like maybe find a job or like what's what's going on with that? No, I'm trusting him, believing in God, what He wants me to do. See, sometimes you have to go through it to get to it. Yeah, but and it might take three years. It might take a job. Guess what? It's not when you get ready, it's when God get ready for you. That's true, but but do you feel like maybe you can help and assisting with like God? Maybe maybe God wants you to get that job, so He's going to get you the job, but you still got to go and find I it. I still got a job. You do have I'm a job. So, so this, is this your normal spot right here? One of them. Do you move around a lot? Absolutely. I only go to a point for children, a few places. I have to move around. I'm hated by most, but loved by few. Yeah. I feel like that's how I am too, my man. See, it's because like, you can tell when people don't really like you. Because you know what? You're not like one of them. Yeah. yeah. You got to be careful with who you come in contact with. See, birds of a feather flock, yo. You don't see an eagle hanging around with a wolf, dude. I've heard stories that Skid Row is like dangerous. Is it? Yeah. It is. At night and whatever? Oh my god. Man, it can turn, it can turn to like where you get real foggy and you see werewolves. Werewolves? Hey man, this is no joke. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hanging out at the movie theater. I'm not playing with you. I'm telling you some real truth out here, bro. There's people that come through here, man. I might have seven, eight fingers. But they have three legs and an arm hanging in my mouth. I see this cat on the east side. Same type of shit, bro. It messed with, it wasn't drugs, because I wasn't out of that. I guess people that come through there, man, that, that thing took flight on me. Like oh. me on my wheelchair. So they just come fight you? Yeah. Okay, and they tell you, I don't give a fuck about you being in a wheelchair. That's why I was telling you, this was like, you were push yeah. for protection. This is not to fight. Why? Well, I have to defend myself. There's predators out here, bro. And so we stay right. strapped and ready. You got to stay strapped and ready. Why would you let somebody come up here and harm you? You're not going to let nobody hurt you, are you? I don't know. See, so at the same time, these people out here, this gang, you know what? I think God fight with God. I'm not trying to go to the church and become a homosexual. See, these guys are here losing their lives, getting time, 15, 18. I can't do two days on them. Yes, it's so rough out here in danger. I've been stabbing in. Yeah. Do you have a scar? Can we see it? Bleeding everywhere? Bleeding everywhere, bro. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't even know what was going on. All I know when I woke up, I was in the hospital with a gang of brand new clothes on. That D3 used me to steal and break into like the gang stores and we came upon so much stuff. The only thing I got was fucking staples in my head, brand new shoes, shirt, and you know what? Uh, I like to think about it. I think God, I'm still breathing, bro. Yeah. I'm still alive. Why, why are you, if you don't mind me asking, why are you in a wheelchair? Due to the fact that four years ago, I was in prison and I thought they had got surgery on my knees. Uh -huh. I just forgot what the doctor said. I did what I wanted to do. I ignored the surgery. My knees collapsed. Uh -huh. and I couldn't walk for three years. So going on the fourth year. Six months ago, God allowed me to start taking baby steps on the stairs. I'm uh -huh. learning to how to right. walk all over again. Things that I learned in my life, and I'm learning to walk again. Good man. See, this is what I want to say: prayer to God. You know, being positive, the law of attraction, it works, guys. So I want everyone to know that. Um, this video is gonna end up going for like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna actually wrap it here. Yo, man, I really do appreciate you. Uh, sitting down with us talking and you and you know I, I am gonna pray for you and I'm gonna tell everyone else that's watching this pray for this man right here he's a good guy and hopefully man you can get your get, get up off of the streets one of these days take care of yourself see your kid and, and speaking of making people smile so I hear you got some dance moves that you can do for us oh yeah oh <laughs> was cool, that was cool. I felt that. Yo, that's I know respect. You did, so that's Anyways, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. I want to end this video with some words of wisdom. So, what do you got to say to the people? Make I want to say, first and foremost, thank you, man. And greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Believe in yourself, man, because you can do it. Always know that you it's possible. 
And then remember one thing, God loves you. And so do my man right here and his pro co-worker. You guys rock, man. Hell yeah, love you guys. See you guys next time post. Peace. Peace out. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.